Welcome to the refill. Welcome to the refill. I'm your host, Ron Daniel, man. We got another great show, another great episode, episode number 55. We started at one, now we're at 55, and we got another great show for you tonight, Wednesday night. Every Wednesday, every Thursday, we come on the 6th Central Global Wide. Tonight, we got another great show with another great artist, man. But before we bring the artist on, uh, we're going to do some house cleaning like we always do. We ask you to help us out to build this uh, platform that we're building. <clears throat> we're looking to build a global wide uh, uh, Christian hip hop media business and podcast global wide and we ask y'all to help us out too man you help us out by sharing liking and commenting man something real simple also if you like what we're doing we ask for you to donate to the show it help us uh to continue to build it take money to build anything don't don't think uh don't don't ever think things in this world is free it take money to build so we're gonna always ask for donations every week People that do watch the show, they do donate to the show. We appreciate everybody who donate to the show because uh, your donations is helping us to continue to grow and continue to build this platform. And last but not least, <clears throat> if you're an artist, DJ, promoter, influencer, and if you want to come on the show, you want to come on the podcast, we don't make it hard. You will see uh, you see some information uh, scrolling at the bottom, man. Just submit uh, your, your, your media kit. Uh, to the email you see at the bottom uh, Submit it, we're going to check you out And if you're good, and if you fit the platform man, We're going to put you in the game We're not going to hold you up, man Listen, tonight we got another great artist, man This artist here Let me, let me tell y'all how I found it I, I like to give y'all some, like they say, some context I found this artist in a studio session I was in a studio session and just uh, just wasting time. You know, after the session, you just kind of sitting around. I jumped on YouTube, clicked the link. I said, man, who this dude right here? This this dude is different. This dude, he sound like he from Louisiana, but he talking about he in Texas somewhere. So I had to, so we reached out. We reached out like we always do. We got him in the game tonight. All the way from Houston, Texas, your boy Swerve. What's good, bro? What's good? It's your main man, y'all boy Swerve. Yes, sir. Yes, Glad sir. to be here. Yes, sir. Welcome to the refill, man. I was telling everybody, man, how we, how how, how we found, just kind of like how we found all the artists, man. I know I found you doing COVID when COVID first hit, <clears throat> and everybody was trying to figure out uh, what to do. We was all in the house and stepping outside, and people out there hustling tissue paper, six rolls for thirty dollars. I'm like, man, come on. And so, <laughs> and so, I, you know, just just one of the studio. You know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. I'm 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 just a nobody trying to tell somebody about Jesus. You dig? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro, I always lead off with this question. I guess it set the tone. We was talking a little bit, um, you know, before the show, but I always I always ask this question, bro, to lead off the show. Did you kind of set the tone for the show, bro? Okay. What was it? Tell, tell, tell everybody who look at everybody who looking at the podcast right now. Tell everybody who you was before gospel rap and what led you to gospel rap. Who I was before gospel rap. Well, my 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 music passion started at about six, seven years old. My grandfather had died and um I grew up in a real broken place, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had been with my grandparents, I think, since I was, like, two years old or something. Mm -hmm. So my, gran my grandfather died, like, I was, like, six years old. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of pain in me, a lot of frustration, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That later led to the streets as life went by. But um, a lot of battling with a lot of anger, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and a lot of frustration. Like I didn't have nobody, you know what I'm saying? It was just Grams, you know, um, um, and I love Grams to give. I thank her for everything she did for me. Um, it was just me and her, you know, and my right. aunt. But I was listening to Tupac. I heard Pac on something, man, that, you know, and everybody know that's, you know, that's my number one greatest of all time for his rap. Um, I was listening to Pac and how he expressed himself in his music, man, and I was right. like, man. I want to be able to do it like that. I want to be able to express myself like that. I was about six and a half years old. So um, 
as I got older, I started chasing the rap game. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I want to be a rapper. That's just all it was. I want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? So whatever I can do to rap, that's what I was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward or um, from from that age, you know what I'm saying? Like in the middle of that, I was battling with, you know, home to home, you know, wishing I had my moms, wishing I mm-hmm. had a father, wishing I had all of these things. And I'm, I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm, I got a job. I was nine, 10 years old, sleeping in abandoned, in abandoned vehicle. It's just, it's my life transpired so many, so many ways from that, that age until I was about 14 when I really got to the music. Right. And so, <clears throat> I got to the music seriously about 14 years old. I started doing talent shows and all that type of stuff. But, you know what I'm saying, that's what I was doing. Talent shows, one of my cousins, you know what I'm saying, you see me on the street selling drugs all the time. You know what I'm saying, selling drugs, in and out of fights, in and out of in and out of juvie, in and out of jail. You know what I'm saying, just, just always into something. You know, but I didn't, I was the type of kid, I was, you know, I was homeless and, 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 and hustling, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. wasn't, wasn't, wasn't much for me to do, but try to survive. So the streets is where I got it at. My my OGs, you know, helped me out, taught me how to make money, you know, in different ways. And that's how I and, and that's how I got it. So I got it in the streets doing hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And signed my first deal at 17. I signed my first deal at 17. And um right after I had I almost got hit with attempted murder charge mm. for a fight. You know what I'm saying, and it was it was it was a it was a battle, but right after that incident, I signed my first deal, and um, that introduced me to the game for real, like all the majors and the independent majors and right. all the artists that I, I looked up to and seen on TV. Now I'm around them. You know what I'm saying? At 17 years old, so I was young in the game. You know what I'm saying? From selling drugs to running the streets to robberies to all these type of things, you know what I'm saying? To, to, to get money, to chasing the rap game and chasing my gift and chasing my gift up until my 20s, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, did a deal with Slip and Slide, come out Slip and Slide, went back to independence, tried to do gospel. I tried to do Christian hip hop and uh, end up going to ATL and experience some things that I wasn't really you know, I know the Bible. I've been studying the Word of God since I was six years old, and my grandma—that's what she instilled in me—was that was that Word of God, and it mm-hmm. was just some things that wasn't matching up. So I was like, "Man, if it's like this, then I might as well stay with hip hop." You know what I'm saying? So I I, I went back to hip hop in 2000, 2013. I was on tour in Alabama. <clears throat> I was in Alabama. I think it was like a two week event. Man, I'm in the house, man, basically a mansion. Mm-hmm. Stuff that I always want, big old high. I'm with my OG, you know what I'm saying? He a uh, white boy from from Alabama, but he a big timer, you know what I'm saying? He on his, he, he do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Real hustler, real grinder, like he got it like that. And in the city, love him. So, man, when I come in town, they treat me like a king. We in his highs, and oh um, man, he got everything that a, that a man would want. He got cars, man. It, yeah, 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 yeah. At the time, he had this female that worked at the strip club, mm. like so. He had all the women if he wanted them. He had man, the dude, house was laid out. My bedroom that I slept in. You know what I'm saying? Got Tupac on one side and Scarface Point painted on the other side. I told him, only thing you're missing is Jesus. And we, we can put Jesus right there in the middle. Right, right. We got the realest, we got the realest <laughs> dudes in the room. <laughs> Already. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? That's how I used to mess with him, right? Yes, sir. And so we joking on that. And one night, man, we, we was getting, I'm in there getting tatted because he like one of the, one of the most major t- tattoo artists, like this dude do NBA teams. Like he mm-hmm. tattoo NBA teams. But, so he in there tatted me up. And then and right after we finished tatting, he asked me a question. He was like, bro, he say, man, he say, man, who is this God you always talk about? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, it's like, man, I ain't, 
He say, I ain't grow up like that. I ain't come up like that. He say, and every time I come to your hometown, every time I come to him, and it's like everybody, man, they 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 spiritual, man. They love God. They 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 always talk about it. They go to church and all that stuff, man. We ain't, I ain't grow up like that. I ain't go to nobody church. Mm. And man. I, I thought about everything that my grandma told me when I was six years old, five, four, you know, instilled in me four, five, six years old. You know what I'm saying? And how she prayed on me and she said that God had a calling on my life. That's why I'm going through the hell that I'm going through. That's why I, I'm going through the struggle that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. God got a real purpose for you and you special. You special. Don't worry about if nobody don't love you. Don't worry about if you ain't got it what everybody else got. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just know that God got you and he love you. You ain't, if your mom, your pops are not here, don't worry about it. God got you. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I went back that I was like, man, this the calling. I say, man, I'm on the wrong side. Mm. I say, I'm on the wrong side, man. And I didn't tell my homie, we finished up what we was doing. And when I got back to him, and man, I gave it up. I walked away from hip hop, period. Mm. I was on, I had, look, I walked away from hip hop. I walked away from the rap group I was in. I'm talking about million dollar deals on the table. I mean, we can get it however we can get it. I gave it all. As a matter of fact, I ain't just give it up. I stopped rapping, period. Mm. I said, all I want to do is serve God, man. All I want to do is know Jesus. All I want to do, all I want to do is serve Christ. All I want to do is just focus on family, raising my kids. Like that was my mission. That was my focus. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, 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 and man, look here. I'm talking about, bro, you talking about from traveling, getting money to go and get a job. I went and got a job at Office Depot paying $7.50. You hear mm, me? Mm. Went and got another job at Petrol Fuel Isle with a, with an 18 wheelers in. Oh, right. man, some of the most nastiest, nastiest, disrespectful crap you can ever see in your life at a, at a, at a, at a, at a, at a god dog on fuel place. Uh, but anyway, for them 18 wheelers. But anyway, I was making $8.25 over there. I went and signed up for college, went and got in college, got finance aid, all this, all this other stuff. I'm in college, man, I'm telling you, I just gave it all up. I'm like, man, I'm good, I'm content, just like this. I just wanna rock with God. Three, four months in, God came to me, mm. and he was like, nah. You gave, you, you gave it all to, to, to him. You went hard for him. Mm -hmm. Now you finna go hard for me. And then right after that, I wrote it. My, two of my homeboys got killed. My OG that I talk about all the time, who, who, he, the, he, he the first one that really put money in my pocket, sold me out of hustle. And even though he showed me the wrong way, he he, he taught me how to eat. Mm -hmm. So he put food in my pocket. I was starving, sleeping in cars at 15 years old. You know, so regardless of how it happened, man, he showed me what love was. He had got murdered. My homeboy that I grew up with in the hood, with him, my OG that got killed, mm -hmm. he got murdered. So, and so I, dro I dropped this song in my spirit called Die Young, and then that's when I did a single deal with Sony and um and uh slave out of Baltimore, man. I can't forget him. I, I had to remain, I had to erase him from my mind. It was so messed up. The deal was so messed up. I, I can't even remember the label. But anyway, it was Sony and some 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 secondhand label. And I dropped a single die young. You know what I'm saying? That was my first viral video. I think it went like 180,000 views. That was the first my first YouTube video or something like that. But that was way back in the G. So mm -hmm. And that's how, and that's how I came to Christian hip hop, and I've been there there since. You know what I'm saying? That was that was 2000, 2013. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. Man, I, I'm I'm listening to your story, and, and for folks who 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 tuned in right now, because for one, you know they they say, oh, this is a uh oh that's a this is a gospel rap christian hip-hop podcast but i always lead off with that first question so folks know who is this and who we dealing with you know because they think right. oh, okay that's gospel rap oh they did folks grew up in church hey man i grew up in the church i grew up in church right. five, five good solid years until i was yeah. 13 and it was like that was it you know to the lord said now you got to come on back and right. so 
you know, for folks who who watching the podcast, man, I, I always like to lead off with this so everybody know uh, who we dealing with on this podcast, episode fifty five. Let me ask you this, bro. So now you 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 operate in the gospel rap space. Right. What was your, what was your first thought? You know, you put your song together. What was your first thoughts as far as like you know, finding the studio time, finding the beats, trying to put the song together? What was your, your 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 mindset? You know, you you giving it to the Lord, but what was your mindset putting that first album? Now 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 we got the album sound funny now. Now we say put that download list together. Put, you know, you putting that first album together. What was your mindset around that time? Oh man, look, I was. Just writing music outside of being a Christian hip hop, being a Christian rapper, being a gospel rapper outside of the religious aspect that it just being a regular person, I love to write music. Mm -hmm. So, and, and and so working on it, my first project was 300 Truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I dropped 300 Truth and man, I worked, man, that was some bangers. I worked on that, that album the whole year. I always had, I always had the hookup with beats since I've been in the industry. Like I got right. two, I got one, I got one Grammy and one on my on my team. We got the same management. He been making my tracks since I really stepped in there. You know, nothing like them. He made that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, that thing so, hard. Yeah, that's high rod, high mm -hmm. rod. You know, he's still in the industry. I still got a lot of uh, industry plugs. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like I said, I still write music. So, but. I got into the, I always had hook up on tracks, man. I got 20, 30 tracks sitting in my email. You know what I'm saying? Just go listen to them. So the production wasn't that hard to get to. Uh, the song wise, I was just releasing everything that was in me that go ahead. So I was just working on a lot of, a lot of singles. Um, like one of my biggest singles off that 300 True album was, was Alien mm -hmm. with Tana Doty, man. Beautiful voice, man. Um, um, Alien, Die Young, which was the single that uh, I did with the uh, with the label. So, um, putting it together, man. When they get the music, when it comes to music, man, I'm just all in. I'm tuned in. I'm tuned in. Like, man, you gotta think. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. To 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 answer that question, you gotta know who I am previously. But. 2012, 2012, I wrote seven albums. Mm. Best artist of Louisiana won them. Mm. Seven albums. It's unheard of. You ain't mm. finding too many people do that. And this ain't the brag. I'm just saying, this is my musical. This is this is this is my musical resume. Mm -hmm. Like 2012, seven albums. Come back 2013, dropped the whole gospel album. So. That's what that's my lane of music. My deal with Slip and Slide, I did 24 tracks in one week. Mm. I had I had seven days to get the mixtape in when I did the deal. I did the track, I did the whole mixtape, 24 songs, five days. It was done. Mm. My deal, my, my my album Louisiana Truth. I did that album in six hours. Did a deal with uh with some cash out of uh, Alabama. They paid for everything, took care of everything. I did an album in six hours. So so that's my that's my that's my work ethic. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, and it's not right. to brag, it's just that's how that's how that the gift that God gave me. When when I learned that gift and I and I figured what that gift can do for me and what that gift where that gift right. can get me. Right. I perfected it. I perfected it and I worked at it and I worked at it and I worked at it. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to the Christian. The gospel, man, you know, from being in that word right. to living life, to being taught so many ways, right, to right. experience to experiencing so many things. Like when it comes to writing, man, it's whatever I tell people, it's whatever God write on my heart, man. Right, right, right. And and that's why when they hear songs like like that, my drip on God. I'm, I'm, I die like that. You know what I'm saying? Like when they hear songs like that, they don't understand. Like, but 
that's what God put on my heart, man. I release it. So, and then I just put it together, format, intro, work on the fire intro on how I want it to come on, what it's going to say, then working in through the album, have a few skits and running on the, on the new album. I didn't do no skits because it was a short project, but and put it together, get it mixed and mastered, do what I got to do and get it distributed, you know, and, and, and put it out to the world. That's really how I, I do my projects. That man, I'm, I'm listening to you, bro, and, and I'm, I'm listening to the grind. And for the artists that's watching the podcast, listen, you, you got a grind. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, grind, bro. Talk, talk about that grind, that mindset, cause a lot of cats, they, they want, they listening to you, they want to say, hey, I, I need to get in the studio and stay in there. And do mm -hmm. twenty four songs in a week. Now, some people, I get it, but for some some people that's watching that, man, can't really do no twenty four songs in a week. I'm like, man, this this every day in the music industry, cats right. putting 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 out six seven songs. Uh, you you mentioned Tupac. I remember looking at a um, documentary. They said when he got out, when he got out, when he was working on uh, what was that? Uh, uh, not Machiavelli, the one for that. Uh, the double the double CD. They all said, eyes on me. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. They yeah. said that Joker got out and did, I want to say, 10 or 12 songs two days. A day. Right. And was done with it. So for, for But that's cats, how he worked, though. Right, he worked right. like that regardless. Right. So for cats that's watching, bro, break down that, that grand, that grand mindset because it's, it's some cats out there want to do it. But then, you know, you did, I'm going to say this too. Let me, let me throw this in too for your answer. You still got cats that's dealing with working jobs, family, family life, married, kids, uh, just trying to, you know, make ends meet. Bro, talk about that, and then how do you mix that in with everyday life? You know, the family life, kids' life, school, whatever they got going on, job, whatever they got going on, then trying to figure out how to put that studio time in to do that many songs, if they can get that many songs in. Right. <clears throat> My thing is, it really got to be in you. Right, Because right. it, it got to be in you. The drive got to be in you. The grind got to be in you. Also, you got to know what you're chasing. Mm -hmm. my, auntie came, my auntie came to me around the same time, 2013. No, this was, this was when I won Best Artist, had seven, seven albums. Right. And she came to me. I was excited, man. I was like, man, I was running the game. I was like, man, I'm killing boys, man. Boys ain't seeing me, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yes, man, sir. look. Man, my auntie came to me, boy. She humbled me so good. She said, Jamal, that's my middle name, you know, family call. Say, oh. Uh, she said, you're a great artist. I love your music. She said, I love, I love what you do. She say, but you chasing the wrong thing. Mm, talk about it. She say, <laughs> she say, you chasing the gift. Mm. But you should be chasing the God that gave you the gift. Mm. Chase God. And the gift gonna open the door. Say, you ain't got to chase the gift. Chase God. And I feel like with that being said, when you're chasing God, that means you read that Bible more, you study more, you live different. Uh -huh. different. Uh -huh. You ain't as judgmental. You ain't got no hate for him. You love everybody. You just move different. So that spirit always talking to you when you sit down in front of in one of those tracks. Every time you put that, that beat on, man, it's speaking to you yes, because sir. you just live from it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. it's, the Holy Spirit is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. He, he run it. I was on stage one time and, and the cat was like, man, and I don't want to get off track, but I was on, I come off the stage and the dude was like, man, how do you, how are you able to speak and rap at the same time? How is that possible? I say, I say, man, it ain't possible. I say, that's the Holy Spirit. I say, yes, that's sir. what he does. When, when yes, you say sir. you to shut up and stop rapping. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you shut up and stop rapping. Yes, ain't nothing sir. you can do. You shut your mouth down. Yes, sir. You speak. 
that's how I go. But it, it confused me to why you didn't, why you don't know how to do that. And this ain't to judge nobody. This ain't just, it just caught me off guard. But that lets you know when, what, what, what we chasing. We just want to rap. But we got to, we got to remember we, we post the minister, mm-hmm. you know, so, and it ain't about just sitting up there talking for 30 minutes. No, no, no. You just throw a few jabs in there, let them know where you got, and get back to the music. But you got to know how to, you got to know how to move. Me, if the music is not working, if I'm not making, if, 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 if music is not working and music is not paying the bills, mm-hmm. I'm going to get a job. Already. We got most rappers want to go stand on a corner and sell CDs. This ain't that, man. That was when we was 15, bro. That ain't working. That ain't going to get you nowhere. You got to know how to grind in different ways. Right. And a lot of people get confused. They get lost, you know what I'm saying, chasing the gift, chasing the gift. So they can't, they don't know how to battle everything else. They don't know how to deal with their wife and kids right. because they're trying to get to the music. They're too focused on the music. They don't, they can't see them. They got, they got, you know what I'm saying? You got others that, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they chasing the gift, they chasing the gift. And you know what I'm saying? They getting further and further and further, further behind because they not putting it to something different. You know what I'm saying? And I was telling my my best friend the other day, I'm like, man, you got people who grind, you know what I'm saying? They they would rather rap and rap and rap and rap and wait for rap to open the door. Rap still ain't open the door. Rap is your gift. But you good at it. That's a gift God gave you. But he also gave you a gift inside of you that will open the door for that gift. Mm-hmm. You get stuck in one place. And you wonder why it ain't bad. That's because you chasing that. That ain't where God wants you to be right now. Mm-hmm. He wants you over here. This right here is going to open a door for you and everybody around you. Mm-hmm. We focus on this here. And, 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 and we keep clashing, keep clashing. It's hard to get in there. If your mind gone, how you going to get in there and write 10 songs? You know what I'm saying? How you going to get in there and just know and, and have patience and be and be focused on doing this, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. It's it's a it's a grind, and you know you gotta know how to move about the grind. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody ain't booked thirty shows, thirty shows a month. Right. You, everybody ain't doing it like that. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't doing it like that. You need to be in the studio. Mm-hmm. You need to be in the studio, getting it in, dropping music, writing and keeping writing and keep writing. You need to be grinding. The music ain't making the money. You need your job. You need to be out there grinding for yes, your sir. family, for yourself, and providing for, for everything else, outreach, whatever else you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Paying your tithes and your offerings, you need to have a job, sir. You know, um, that's just how I look at it. You know, and, and for me personally, when I work, that's how I work. If music, if, if if I'm not getting no deals in for writing music, if I don't get no contracts in, say, sir, hey, man, I need you to write this song for this artist right here. I'm going to pay you this amount of dollars. If that's not coming in, if I'm not, nobody hit me saying, hey, I need you in such and such state, you know what I'm saying, to take care of this and take care of that. I'm not going to be sitting there waiting on rap. Oh, really? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm fill my, 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 my pickup truck up. I'm finna go find me a contract and I'm finna drive around the city delivering somebody parts for somebody's truck, cars, or something. I'm not finna, like, like I'm gonna work for myself still, but I'm not finna wait, wait on rap. I'm not finna wait on rap to, to, to do nothing. Like, if it ain't if it ain't moving, I'm gonna keep moving. Yes. Sir. And, and that's how people do. People get stuck, man. They get stuck in one place, in one position, and, and just focus on rap and focus on rap. And that's how you can't, if, if your mind's just sitting here, keep thinking on it, you're going to be Paul's brain. Like, it's nothing going to come from it because you're chasing the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, my bad. I just went on bro, and on with it. No, bro. Hey, hey, hey. I asked the questions. I let y'all take off like a rocket, man. Y'all, y'all yeah. hear it. That's why we do this podcast, man. But I'm, 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 what, what, you know, I'm um, listening to. I like what you said, bro. Chase God. Don't don't no. be don't be chasing the gift. I, t- I tell cats all the time, man. I have conversations, cats like, man, you know, you 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 rap, you do you, you do the podcast, you do the real estate stuff. What is? I said, man, it's it's 
trying for for me, I'm gonna say this for me and I'm asking this question, is trying to make sure for one, and this is in no particular order, you know, make sure one that God is pleased. God is pleased, because I know he gonna bless my efforts if he please with the work. Like dude one of them said, I bless the works of your hands. So that's one. Right. And then two, and then just trying to do everything in excellence. Because okay. I tell you, man, we, we, we serve an excellent God. So we got to put the best thing out there and not no, no half step and mess. But right. what you said, chasing God, I, I hope for, for everybody watching this podcast that you get something out of what he just said. Chase God. Quit chasing the bag. Quit chasing the gift. Yeah. Quit chasing right. all that. That stuff going to come. And I'm listening to it because I'm like, the bag That's, too. Right, right, right. And I'm, I'm, I'm listening to it because I'm like, those things going to come. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this, bro, before I ask you this question. I, I just, man, in my mind right now, I just went back to when we started this podcast, when the Lord said do it, when COVID first hit. Well, I mean, when COVID first hit, everybody last year in 2020 was trying to figure out, do we need to wear a mask? Do we need to sit at home? Do we need to keep the kids home? Do we need to go to work? What, what is it? And the Lord said, do your podcast right now. I'm like, and and the building I'm in, we lease we lease this office space. We we got two studios up here that we use uh -huh. during the daytime. You know, we do voiceover work and all that stuff. Do daytime, then we do the rapping things when, when you know when the, when the building closed. So right. I'm like, Lord, we can't even get in the building. He said, Do the podcast. Buy this, get this, get that. And I start seeing him line things up, and now we at episode fifty five. You know, and I'm listening to him like. That come from chasing God. And for folks who listening, chase the Lord, man. Come on. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask you this, bro. Because we, 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 we in this thing now. The rap space now. And cast this in. I'm talking about specifically the gospel rap space. Bro, what's your thoughts on it now? Now, you've been in it since 2013. What's your thoughts in it now? What you seeing now? Because for me, I'm going to say this. I'm seeing a mm -hmm. lot of cats doing 100 miles an hour. Yeah. On the six lane highway, you know, I, if you go to Atlanta, they got them six lane highway. Houston got them wide highway lanes. LA got, I'd have been all over the country. And they got them wide. My city got four lanes. That's about as wide as it's going to get. But yeah. D Cats doing 100 miles an hour, all gas, no brakes. <laughs> and I mean, Come no on. brakes, bro. The brakes ain't working. And they, they just out here doing on. anything out there. They putting words together. And they mention God one time, and they think, okay, that's what it is. What's your thoughts on gospel on the gospel rap space in 2021? Talk about it, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you, look. You, you can answer any way you want to answer, Mike. Man, look. You know, man, my genre, I'm going to say it like this. Go ahead. My genre is G-Rap. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? That's gospel rap. Mm -hmm. That's God rap. That's my genre. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I identify as a Christian hip-hop rapper. You know, um, just like I identify as a Christian. Right. You know, Jesus, you know, Jesus didn't call us a Christian, but... You know, it's in it's in the Bible. You yes, know, sir. two three times, two three times about you know we Christians, so we picked up the name and we identify ourselves with it. Right. We know, but we know we all disciples though. Right, right. Gospel rap, God rap is disciple music. Mm -hmm. That's G rap. Okay. That's what I rock. So that being said, I ain't no hater. You know, I respect everybody's grinds and how they and how they do their thing and what they talk about and, and what they got going on. And and for me, I you know, man, it, it, you know, a lot of things just not my cup of tea. I'm not no hater though. You know, I, I support cats all day. I I I could not like it. I, I, I was still support it because that's just who I am. I'm a supportive person. But it's a few cats out there that I like, that I listen to, that um that 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 keep me keep me rocking when it comes to the Christian hip hop. But for me, man, it's just if I was if I was a sinner, mm -hmm. like a real sinner, like just out there 
trying to rob some, jack some, kill some, live all type of ways. It'll be listening to the Christian hip hop that I listen to today. It'll be hard for me to come to Jesus. Mm. And I'm just, and that's just my opinion. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying much, but I'm saying like, far as the religious side, it's a lot of stone thrones. Yeah. It's a lot of guns being fired, a lot of shots being fired. It's a lot of hating, bash, 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 hate, 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 bash, hate. It doesn't matter. It, one thing, one thing is one of the worst things we can have is 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 to be a believer and to use God and to use the Bible to tear down someone. Already. That's one of the worst things we can do. And 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 far as rap, we we have a few that's in that in that area. Um then, you know, far as musically, musically, man, I like substance. I like substance. Like I can hear Jesus, 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 Jesus 27, 37 times. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of people screaming Jesus, man, that that ain't saved, you know, they're not they won't get into heaven. So mm -hmm. that doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like Jesus was simple. He came to the people, he talked to the people, like people, you know what I'm saying? I would like to hear what's going on in life. Like what what are you, like where did God bring you from? What did God right. put you here? Like, like what did God do for you? Like what what lifestyle you come from? Like what did you what did you do when you was eight, nine, 10 years old. Like, how did you come up on this? Like, how did God get you out of that? I like the stories, you know what I'm saying? I like people who paint pictures. I like, you know what I'm saying? Those who can glorify God in a, in a, in a fire lyrically way. That's just, that's my style of music. Mm -hmm. um, you don't find that much in, in CHH. You don't find it, you know what I'm saying? It's, you don't find it and in, 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 it's very rare that you do. And that's just my thing. I feel like we too busy trying to be like hip hop. Mm -hmm. And we too, we too busy trying to follow the wave of the new school rappers. And that's cool. For the new school, let them do that. For these, these, these. Like, I'm gonna say it like this. It ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with adapting to what going on. But. But it's like this here. I will go. If, 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 say, let's see, the baby got a track out, he killing it, right? Mm -hmm. Most will, what they would do is they will copy the beat and then they'll copy the style of him mm -hmm. rapping. And oh, then we'll rap about try to, and we'll try to transform that to Christian gospel. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's just, that's not me. Not me. I jack that beat, go get that beat remade and do it my way for the gospel and keep it in that lane. And I'm not, it ain't to brag on me or anybody that's like that. It's just, that's my style of music. That's like, I like people who substance, they different. You don't sound like him. You don't sound like them. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not doing what they doing. You're not on what they on. Like you got your own God. You truly in your gift that God gave you. And that's when I know it's a gift from God. Mm -hmm. When you hear the you hear the Nas, when you hear a Nas spit, you know that gift came from God. It don't matter how they use it and how they right, went for it. Right, right. You know that gift. Biggie, Tupac, Jay Z, whoever, D M X. You know these gifts came straight from God. You can't have it no better than that. Mm. The thing about it is. So when you find those type of artists, it's rare. But but at the end of the day, I feel like, man, we just got a lot. Of, it's a lot of people who just rapping because it's the thing to do. But you know, we, And we got a lot of people that's rapping because they couldn't make it in hip hop. Mm -hmm. So they, they chose the, the gospel lane, the Christian hip hop lane. You got a lot of people who really do it for God and really go hard for, for the kingdom. And then we got a lot that just do it, you know, just for where it can get them, you know what I'm saying? And what it can put in their pockets. So, I mean, the game is just 
for me is just like, bro, when I turn on the, if I, when I, I'm gonna tell you like this ain't no shot to injure radio. Um, uh, this ain't, you know, that's a Houston station out here in Houston. Right. It's called right. Engine Radio. Yeah, shout out to them boys. Respect to that show for what they do for positive hip hop. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna call that. I can't call that gospel. I can't call that Christian hip hop. That's positive hip hop. I respect that. I tell people all the time, look, bro, if you want to do positive, do your positive thing. If you want to sing R&B songs to your wife for the rest of your life, man, I'm all for it. God is love, however you want to run that. Being a Christian rapper ain't going to get you into heaven. Me being a gospel rapper, G-rap artist, ain't going to get me into heaven. Mm -hmm. Period. So, but my thing is, every time I listen to the station, I'm just like, man, I, I'm just confused. I'm confused. I, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm like, man, there's so much great music out here. There's so many great Christian rappers out here that's really got stories and really get stories being painted. Right. And I'm like, man, why y'all don't ever play, like, relevant stuff? Like, everything is trying to be on what they own in hip-hop. Right, 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 hip hop right. ain't reaching hip hop. Right, hip hop right. ain't reaching hip hop. Go so ahead, how you gonna go. reach hip hop doing the same thing hip hop doing? Yes, sir. Already, hey, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I ain't look. I ain't throwing no shots. They go, don't play my music get away. Go ahead, so. bro. <laughs> look, hey, I, I ain't got nothing to lose. Anybody. But I'm yes, just sir. being real. I ain't being no hater or none of that. But. I'm gonna be real, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I ain't gonna say no names or none of that, you feel me? But my thing on it, I reached out to somebody. Real talk, you know what I'm saying? I reached out to somebody because I just, I just like, man, this, this station is disrespectful. Like, <laughs> what's, like, what, what is going on? Like, why, why, why do we do this? Like, what's going on? And I reached out to him, like, man, I say, bro, and I talked to one of the cats, man, and he explained to me something. He told me something that really, it really made sense to everything that I was thinking. And it made mm -hmm. sense to the reason why everything is being ran the way it was ran. Right, right. But anyway, it's on a racial situation. So I'm not going to get in all that, that race stuff and stuff like that. But the demographics ain't us. Let's just make it. Let's just oh, get this plain and simple. Right, right, right. The demographics ain't us, and they not aiming for us. Right, right. So I backed up off that. I ain't, you ain't got to worry about me trying to figure out what's going on now. It makes perfect sense. So anyway, we're going to get past that. But what I'm saying is I did my best to try to get a station to listen. My best man, I turn it on every 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 day. I'm just trying to man, give me something positive, man. I, I can't, I, I you know, I, I man, you know, and and my kids in, in riding in the truck, they like, man, what is this, man? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> my kids ain't getting into it, but it is. Well, you know, I have a few people that gonna like the world rejects my big my big home and fire, be dropping that heat on them. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? They they gonna play a little little. Uh, they gonna play some Lecrae, you know. They gonna play all of the mainstream dudes. They play too much NF. I'm like, man, y'all play NF all day, all day, 24/7, 365. I ain't heard NF say nothing about God, Jesus, nothing yet. But I ain't hating on that man. That man doing his thing. What he doing? He a positive Already. rapper, you know. He a positive rapper. He doing his thing. They play him all day. Once again, the demographics. So I understand. So, but. What I'm saying is that's the game right now. And being that I'm a supportive person, man, whatever you want to do and how you want to do it, you ain't got to be the best lyricist. You ain't got to be the best rapper. You ain't got to, you ain't got to try to do it as do it and do it how you want to do it to get it, get it perfected. But my thing is this, when God give you a gift, that gift, you're going to work on it. You're going to work at it. God ain't finna give you a gift. And, and people looking at you like, what is you talking about? What is you saying? I don't understand. Like, what I'm saying is, when we trying to reach hip hop, we can't be hip hop. We got to be something different. You know what I'm saying? We can. It's like when he said about the Pharisees. He say, man, don't copy their ways. Yes. Sir. He say, he say, he say, he say, don't do as they do. Copy their way. He just watch what they do. Uh, Focus on. You know what I'm saying? You see how they move. You study that. But you don't be that. Uh, you know what I'm saying, and, and 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 it's just like that. You know what I'm saying. So that's how I am with it, man. I, and I, but 
the thing about it is, I ain't no hate. I'm respectful. Like, I mean, I share. I, I listen, man. I pull up to events. Whatever I got to do to show love to, 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 for boys to keep going and, man, keep doing something positive, staying out the streets, doing what you got to do, getting, having you an elective in life, that's cool with me, man. That's right. cool with me. But music, man, I'm, 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 I love music, man. I love music with a passion. Mm-hmm. Music is a gift from God that I love to hear. I don't care if it's from the 40, the 50s, all right, up to right, current right. 20s, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I love, I love music, old school to the new school. So I would listen, I could listen to blues songs with no song on it, just that 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 instrument going. Yes, or I can listen to a, I can listen to a hip hop track and don't gotta hear nobody rapping. Just listen to that track all day mm-hmm. long. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a music head for real. So if you ain't doing it how God told you to do it and how God gave it to you to do it, man, like, look, I, I just don't like people to play with the gift that God has given you. If God made, if God gave you the gift to be a doctor, you go in there and you be the best doctor you can be. Mm-hmm. Period. God gave you the skills to be a lawyer, man. You better go in there and fight every freaking battle like he gave it to you. Yes, he gave so. you the gift to play the piano. Man, you best to learn every key like you ain't never learned the key before. That's the gift. It ain't no different than rapping. You know what I'm saying? I had, it just, It ain't no different than rapping. And then I feel like, I, I just feel like the game is just, you know, we all over the place. And I'm right. just being honest. We all over the place. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, but it is what it is, you know. It's, it's rap. It's, you know, hip hop. That's all it is to me. Bro, you know what, you you know what, man, man, you, you, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting back listening to you. This, I'm, I'm going to say this before I say what I'm saying. These are the conversations we need to have in the gospel rap space. These the conversations, what you're saying, you're saying, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to the radio stations, but they, they not playing gospel rap, but they're a gospel rap station. You know, or right. they or they throw it out there, or you can't catch this winning the gospel rap awards, right. the Christian hip hop awards. But they they saying, hey, I ain't no I ain't no gospel rapper, but give me the award. Right. You know, and I'm like, these are the conversations that need to be had. These are the conversations we have right now that somebody say, well, Ron Dane, you sound like a hater. I said, I'm not a hater. I'm a celebrator. It, it ain't a hate nothing in me. I'm a celebrator. I'm look at I'm the, I'm the cat that's on the sideline shaking the pom poms for gospel rap. Been yeah. doing it for 15 years. I said, so right. these type of conversations, what you're saying is, you know, cats trying to sound like, and you, let me say this too, bro. Bro, when I tell you I had this conversation with me and my wife was talking about this, I'm talking about two days ago, talking about how, and I don't know how we got on it, but I was telling how, I said, it's something how the the gospel rap community go to bed and go hard for the secular cats, for the worldly cats, for the for the for the trap rappers, they talking about everything in the trap. They didn't shot everybody. They didn't look at. Right. They didn't pull the Draco out and shot fifty thousand folks. Went home, ate a bowl of cereal, watched the ESPN highlights like ain't no consequences. I said so. They did that. Now we going hard for them. I said, but I right. ain't heard. I ain't heard nobody, <clears throat> no mainstream artists yet, say you know what? Y'all listen to them gospel rap boys. Y'all listen to Sir, listen to Ron Daniel, listen to all them boys out of Texas, out of Louisiana, out of Oklahoma, out of Florida. I ain't heard the chat in 15 years. I ain't, I ain't seen nobody get on a major platform and say, hey, man, y'all, you know, li- listen to, they say, well, what you listen to? I'm just going to use Snoop Dogg for, for, for an example. They say, Snoop, what you listen to? Oh, man, I'm, losing. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to Sir. I'm listening to uh, 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 that boy Brian Ter- Terry, yo. You know, I'm, I'm listening to them. Boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to them. But I ain't heard nobody yet say that. And to me, it's like there's no. Let me ask you this: What do we have to do as gospel rap artists, the DJs, the promoters, the influencers, to make sure that 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 line, like they say, you know which team you on? You know what I'm saying? You know, in, in the NFL, you got the AFC and the NFC. Ain't ain't no ain't no. Gray area. You know who the AFC teams are. You know who the NFC teams are. But in the rap space, to say, hey, we are 
the gospel rappers, the DJs, the promoters, and influence. What do we have right. to do more of to make that distinction? So Cass say, okay, that cat right there, he gospel rapper. She gospel rapper. She gospel DJ. What what can we do as a whole to to make sure that distinction is there? In your opinion, that's easy. go ahead. That's easy. We gotta know how to love. Mm-hmm. Talk See, about it. when it comes to being a DJ, a rapper, clothing designer, right, or singer, right, musician in this gospel arena, mm-hmm. we sometimes walk among the selfish, right. Some people ain't gonna mention your name because they know how great you are. Already. In order for us to change that, we gotta know how to love. Amongst the CHH community, two things that I see, well, it's three things. Racism. Mm -hmm. Hate. Mm -hmm. Jealous. Uh-huh. All of that becomes envy. In order for us to get past that, man, you got to know how to love, man. When you know how to love, love is genuine. So that means you love anybody that come in your place. That means, so if I hear him, man, you're a Christian rapper. That's what you do. Guess what, man? Look, I got an event coming up on 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 on, on the twenty seventh, man. You want to come through? Yes, yeah, so. sir. That's how I go. That's love. Mm-hmm. I don't gotta know you to support you. Mm-hmm. I don't gotta know you to help you. That's Jesus' way. Nobody's mm-hmm. doing that. Everybody want to walk like hip hop. Oh man, it gotta be a relationship, man. I gotta, I gotta build a relationship, man. That's cool. We supposed to build relationships right, regardless, right, regardless right. if we rapping or not, regardless if we singing or not, regardless if we playing anybody's instrument or banging on anybody's drum for Sunday service. Mm-hmm. We gotta build a relationship, regardless, because we all family and we all one body. Mm-hmm. The problem is we got everybody, we got we got the foot trying to be the be the ankle. We got the ankle trying to be the kneecap. We got the kneecap trying to be the hip. We got the hip trying to be the chest, the arm trying to be like it's out of order in love. We go to concerts, it's the same person on the stage every time we pull up. Talk about it. Every event is the same person on the stage. Amongst that circle, we go out of town. We 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 get booked for shows and tours. It's the same people on the stage that we know. We hang around every day. We talk to every day. When we start opening the doors for the people around us, God gave you a gift, and He gave you the gift for everyone around you. Uh-huh. So if everybody around ain't being a part of it, then who's who's it about? But and that's the thing. Everything, and I'm not throwing stones, I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just saying I know what I know from what I see and what I've experienced and what I witnessed. I'm going off what I know and what I've seen, and that's why in Christian hip hop, I spread nothing but love. Anybody that can mention my name. They gonna say, sir, show love, period. And I wanna be known for that. This ain't the brag or boast oh, or anything. Really? Oh, I wanna really? be known for showing love. When I die, I want them to say, man, sir, hey, love for folks, man. Mm-hmm. Everything I done been through, I ain't know what love was coming mm-hmm. up. You know what it felt like besides my grandmother and how she hugged me. So to have, I prayed for that love. You know what I'm saying? That love is a gift. You gotta pray for it. And so what I'm saying is, in order for the DJs to step up for the DJs and the DJs to step up for the artists and the artists to step up for these and the, and the these step up for these, man, we gotta know how to love, period. Yes, sir. Every time, when it comes when it comes to radio shows, 
boys playing music and the people they rock with. You're not digging into the music like the old, like like them old DJs, man, trying to find the next fire. Bye, 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 bye. You're not doing that. You going off what's relevant in hip hop and what your homeboy got going on. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what rap is in Christian hip hop. You know what I'm saying? From the radios to everything that's going on, it's a lot of. It's a lot of, you know, I'm going to just stick with my people. I'm, I'm going to do with my people. You know, I ain't going to really just, you know, um, and, and that's what it is, man. We just need to know how to love and how to spread more love, man. You got to support people. We need we need to learn how to support each other, share each other music, share each other clothing lines, share each other businesses, represent everybody. That Man, it just ain't just music. It go past that, all that, man. It's just natural love, period, man. I don't know you. You wrote a book? Oh yeah, how much is it? Twelve dollars. Let me get the book, right, man. I'm, right. I, I promise you, I probably don't read it for about two months. <laughs> yeah, I done that too. <laughs> I'm being real. Yes, yeah, sir. But, uh, but I'm about it. Yes, yeah, sir. I ain't got it. But guess what? That's that's a, that's a, that's a donation. That's that's an offering. You feel me? And even if it don't come back to hundredfold, I'm good. But what I'm saying is, that's how we should be. Mm-hmm. We should know how to. Walk like that, that man. That's the only way we're gonna be able to survive amongst each other. Until then, everybody gonna be about themselves, and that's just not what it is, man. It's a lot of man. You let me tell you something. All you gotta do is go on a Christian rapper's or a Christian gospel singer artist. Period. Just go on their personal Facebook pages that they promote their music. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if you go on their page, you don't see nobody other them. These are the people we talking about. Right, right. You go on somebody's page and you see other artists, like, man, they probably ain't never even met before, man. He just shared that because he just want to support it. Probably ain't even listened to it. But just because he doing it, he on the same team, show him love. So we all just got to get on that, man. Unity, man. And that's what it is. We need unity and love. If we ain't got no unity, we ain't got no love, it's gonna stay thing. Man, I watch, I watch outreaches beef out here. Mm. Outreaches. I'm talking about ministries. We out here feeding people and trying to pray on people. Y'all not here ain't talking to each other because y'all been mad at each other for 10 years, type stuff. I right, yeah. yeah man. So I'm just saying, man, unity and love, that's what we need. That's that's how. We build it, and that's how we get over there to hip hop and reach hip hop, and get over there and bring these lost souls to the kingdom. Because one person out here trying to be the big man ain't gonna work. It's a body of many members. Oh, period. One man trying to do all the concerts every year, mm-hmm. and all these other people got all of these all this other talent around. I just don't. I, I don't believe in it, but it is what it is. Both. My bad, I went on and on with but, it. Hey, hey, man, I, I, told, I, told you, I told you in the front of the show, answer however no. you want to answer, man. That, that's why we made this podcast. For those who looking, that's why we made this podcast. You know, yeah. we, we can easily make a podcast and say, hey, we're going we gonna to feature your music, talk about the song, talk about the collaborations, what you got next, and that's it, and we be done in 15 minutes. But we 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 want to get into the to the mindset of yeah. the artists, the DJs, the promoters, and figure out what can we do as a whole to make gospel rap, Christian hip hop, make it stronger. Like you said, and and I'm glad you said that towards the end. You said that's the only way the cats that's unsaved gonna come into the kingdom. It's yes, unity in love. That's it. Man, that's look. It. That's it. Look, yeah. If I put a show on there, you my homeboy. I love you. I ain't never, you know what I'm saying, did an event with you. I put a show on. I got an event going on. Mm-hmm. I need artists. I'm going to call your phone. I'm going to say, hey, you need some time? I need I need some time. Come out here and that's minister it. for me. That's it. Can you, can you, I, this is what I do. I call boys on, even if they don't show up. Even if, I, man, I, I, let me tell you something. This ain't a brag on me, man. It was some artists that I ran into when I first got here. And I would hear them, man. I hear their music, man. I'm like, I, they didn't know 
how much of a fan I was of them. Right. But but on social media, I'd let them know. I'm like, yeah, that's man, that's fire. You do your thing. Woo 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 woo. But they didn't know what I was doing on the outside, on 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 on, on the inside. Man, I was going to people that I knew personally when it came to events. Hey man, put them on the flyer. Mm. Put them in the event, man. They still don't know to this day. I ain't finna say their names. Right, right. Put them, put them, put them on, bro. Why y'all ain't never putting them in the show? Why y'all don't never let them do them thing, man? They got a beautiful testimony, man. Got a great testimony, man. Let man, they need to, somebody need to hit it. This is what I was doing. This behind the scenes. But what I'm saying they ain't to brag on me, but that's just the, that's this is how we should be as people, mm-hmm. as Christian gospel artists. You need to be rooting for your brother. Rooting for your sister. Yes, sir. You want to see him win. Yes, sir. They're a host. Oh, you host? You a host? Well, guess what? My friend got a got a got an event coming on. They need a host. I'm finna shoot you here. Hey, you did. You in the building. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter. Man, hey, such and such hard that need a DJ. Yes, they got sir. a big gospel hip hop artist, gospel concert coming up, man. They need a DJ, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is like, it? that's it's that easy. It's that easy, man. Love is everything, though. Until we get love, it's gonna be hard to do that. It's hard, you know what I'm saying? But but you got you got to pray for that heart to have that love to want to support people instantly to want to show love to people instantly, to walk like that. Man, it doesn't matter what they got going on. It don't matter what their flaws is. It don't matter how many times they failed last year. It don't matter what this and who did this and who did right, that. They right. wanna they, they say they they say they want to come to God. They want to ride for Christ. They want to die for the king. They want to they wanna change their life. We give them a reason to. Walk with them. Yes, sir. Show them love. We so quick to tear down and walk away and say, oh, nah, I ain't rock with them, man. They this, they do this, they do that. Let me tell you something. I got one, I got one problem. If I call you for an event and you don't show up five, six, seven times, mm-hmm. that's when my issue comes. Mm-hmm. Because we got a lot of people who they got stuff going on, they put on and they say they coming and they don't show up. Been and there. I know a lot of people get tired of that. That's why they, a lot of people just stop calling on so many people. You just want to call on who close to you. But I just don't do that. I, I keep the love going, and I reach out as many times as I can until you. Just, I let I get an understanding that this ain't just what you want to do. You right. you want to do your own thing. So, and, and and I got a few of them like that, man. Just man, I can call them. Hey, Galveston. Hey, here, Atlanta. Will you want to? Oh, and don't show up. Right. So. We got that going on as well, but we can't let that defeat us. Like, man, we just need to show love, man. More unity, man. And that's how we build. That's how we grow. That's how we go out there and reach. You know what I'm saying? You got 90 churches in the hood, but the hood's still infested with drugs. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you know what sir. I'm saying? Everybody divided. Everybody separated. Everybody doing mm-hmm. their thing. I'm going to have, the, oh, oh, man, we got this church program going on. They got mm-hmm. that church program going on. He got a church program on there going on down there. Imagine if y'all brought them programs together. Mm-hmm. See what the influence would be. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because the people looking at us and they saying, man, y'all always beefing, so why would I want to get saved? Right, right, right. Y'all, y'all ain't never in order. Y'all ain't never on one accord. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to be a part of that? All y'all do is sit on social media and argue about scriptures, man. What, what you mean? Believe in what? <laughs> but look, I ain't gonna get too deep on that. I'm just saying. But yeah, that's what it is. More unity, more love. Bro, I tell you, man, I'm listening to you, dog. And I'm, 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 I'm listening to you, cause I'm, I'm gonna say this. As long as I've been rapping, man, and working in the, the whole uh, C.A. Change and gospel rap space 15 years, I only had one church pastor that brought churches together for an event. One in 15 years, one. And I remember when he did, he said, he said, hey, yeah, by the way, he said, you come on down, it's a city two hours away. He said, man, my church, uh, we're going to link up with this other church and this other church across town, and we're bringing all the youth together, and y'all just going to get down for two hours and do what y'all going to do. And we, they said, and we're going to pay your love off for honoring them, everything, we're going to take care of you. One pastor that did that. Let me ask this, bro. 
how have you how have you been received just having your uh just conversations with pastors and youth leaders in the city and, and just wherever you go what 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 have they they um I guess they mindset. What have you learned from talking to the pastors? As far as you got some pastors that say, "Hey, man, we ain't trying to hit no, no no gospel rap coming in these doors." I didn't been there. And then you got some say, "Hey, man, we need it, but it's some resistance that we're trying to figure out how to bring it into the ministry." What what have your conversations been around that right there in in, in that space talking to different pastors and youth leaders? Man, look, I started that early as a kid. But I travel, I travel with bishops, but you know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, um, prophets, mm -hmm. evangelists, you know what I'm saying? Since a kid, I travel with them. Um, but in my adult age with a relationship with Christ and finally able to walk with Christ, how he came to me but and not how it was forced on me but as far as trying to make me be a Christian and, and make me believe in this and make me believe in this in, in religious ways. Right. My relationship after finding Christ came later. And and, and and at this point, you know, like me, I'm big on outreach. Everybody, you know, I got the Jesus sneakers. I donate the sneakers all over different countries. Um reach out to a lot of a lot a lot of cats with that and, and, and we get together whoever hit back we get out there and we serve a lot of the pastors and a lot of them lot like i'm gonna say this man the conversation i learned that a lot of these churches a lot of these outreach ministries was built off hate mm. And it's sad to say, and I'm not, and, and I'm just being real, man. Somebody got mad at somebody because they didn't like correction. Right, and right, they didn't, right. And, and they didn't, and they didn't, they didn't feel like they needed to change those ways. Or they got into it behind money, or right. the dollar, or some, some horrible act happened in the monks, the circle. Mm. And they got mad at that person. They went open their own church. Mm. Or they went started their own outreach ministry in the in the city that's what i've been running into me person like it's a lot of that <clears throat> which it made me it, it made sense to why so much division but and, and everybody is so separated because i'm in houston texas man houston texas is a gumbo pot yes sir. everybody yes so it is everybody man ain't no way y'all supposed to be divided man Ain't no way y'all should be bumping heads about anything, you know what I'm saying, besides how we serving and where we serving at. Because you got all the resources to do so. You number one for Christian hip hop. Mm -hmm. Texas is the Christian hip hop state. Yeah, so. So why is it only four or five people we see? <laughs> like. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying, like, but on that, on that, like, like talking to these pastors, man, like, I, they, I, they reach out to me all the time, right? Trying to put things together. Hey, man, how can we get out there and serve with you? How can we, we serve with you? Like right now, my brother James, um, James ain't even, ain't even from Houston. He come down here every, every other, every month, but, and go to the, to the poorest hood. He call us out, we come out and rap, you know what I'm saying? And, and we go out there and serve. It's just pastors and ministers like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to serve. Everybody wants to get together. It's the, they can't get the unity. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't a big name on there, if it's not, if it's not a big name and then according to the race that you're trying to serve, you don't get that, you know, the support don't, 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 don't really, the support level is really not there, but it's it's a lot of people who want to come together. It's a lot of people who want to come together. Not everybody's on that, right. but it's hard because the people who in the people who basically a part of everything got it on on it on on a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to maneuver in certain in certain places. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to 
get to certain things because, you know, people feel like they in certain positions and they don't never want to be bumped out of those positions, you know. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely agree with you. But I mean, I, I, I think that's universal. We, we, we see the same thing in my city. Um, I, I know for me personally, when I first started, it was a whole lot of, uh, you know, what is this gospel rap? Who is this dude, gospel rapping dude, setting up speakers in a park, talking about Jesus and who he affiliated with, and just a bunch of foolishness. Until I started mm -hmm. running into the past, and they'd be like, oh, you run down, you. well, let's talk. And then when, once they get a, not not all of them, but once a few of them, once they got to understand of what's going on, they say, okay, I, I, I see what you're doing. But then some, you had some pastors to say, hey, I'm old, but I was doing that when I was 20-something, <laughs> doing something that. Yeah. I had some pastors say, hey, I had a Christian club, and everybody in the city turned on me because I wanted to you know, turn up in my church a certain way. So I, I, I seen the same thing. It's, it's the same thing in my city, man, just talking to other yeah. artists. Uh, especially in the United States, coast to coast, uh -huh. they seeing the same things too, man. Let me ask you, bro. Let me let me let me let me let me let me, let me flip let me flip this 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 question on you, bro. Yahshua kicks, man. Bro, talk. Let, let me let me let me say let me say this first. I love seeing, especially with the with the gospel rap artists, when gospel rap artists are doing other things within the gospel rap space, not just rapping. You know, you got some people say, hey, this all I do is rapping. And it's not that for whoever look, it ain't nothing against just rapping. Ain't nothing against that. I'm talking about when you start clothing lines, you say, hey, on this podcast, we done talked to cast it. They open up a, a whole Christian uh, 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 club down in Dallas. Shout out to that boy Prodigal. A club, casting open up studios, casting open up. I'm trying, I'm trying to do it in Houston. Yes, sir. We, hey, we trying to do it in the rock town. I, 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 tell, I tell people, man, we need it, man. We we need those spaces because, and speaking about the, the you know, uh, a Christian club, yeah. I tell people all the time, I say, we need it because you got these folks that's freshly saved, they going to church, they come out of a whole different lifestyle. Give them something that they recognize, but it's a different right. vibe. And, and it's there right. to strengthen they work right. in God. You gotta become you gotta become one to reach one, man. That's yes, why I sir. say it all go it all go back to the word, man, and, and, and ain't too much ain't too much Bible reading. You know what I'm saying? That's why things don't match up everywhere. But I ain't no way them. We're gonna keep moving how we move. <laughs> Already. Yeah. Bro, talk about these Yashuk and, and look here, look here. I'm gonna give me a pair, man. Cause when you sent the link, I saw them gray I saw them gray and red ones. I gotta get them, yeah. man. I gotta give you. Yeah, you gonna see that. You gonna see that cash app in a little bit. I gotta talk talk about it, man. Talk talk about your vision behind it, man. Talk about uh, where you where you trying to go with it, man. Look, before y'all kicks, man, I had a little pickup Dodge truck. What? <clears throat> oh, one hundred and seventy eight thousand miles on. Mm -hmm. I was working at the petrol. Play seven dollars and some dollars an hour. I gotta tell you this story to get to that go story. Ahead. Go ahead. I was making seven dollars and nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. look here. I had got a fifty. I got a fifty cent raise. Um, <laughs> I had dropped the mixtape, put it out though. And so I was designing T-shirts. I was designing T-shirts, church boy, church girl. Right. <clears throat> Donating them to the kids, selling them to the adults. I started designing my own jewelry. So I had my own custom Christian jewelry. That's how I started. I was, I was designing bracelets, chains, all that. Man, you know what I'm saying, the women, the women kept me in the building, you know what I'm saying? Because they bought stuff like crazy, yes, buying it for their grandpa, their uncles, <laughs> their daddies, all that stuff. So, yes, you know what I'm saying? That was my outreach. I was right. using the money. I was I was, I was, was designing the jewelry to make the money to be able to go out there and buy stuff that I could donate and help people with. Right. Let me tell you this, man. Let me tell you how God works. I'm at work one day, going to the register, get something to eat. And I went, uh, it was a bunch of, it was some change, you know what I'm saying? And I had number hundreds in my pocket. Mm -hmm. 
And this ain't the brand. You feel me? I make seven dollars and something an hour, bro. I'm feeding the entire hood, man. This is Jesus, man. This how God work. Just listen to me. I pull, I go in my pocket, the, the hand, the hand to look for some change, and the lady say, "Hold up, man. Hold up." <laughs> Well, look, this ain't the brag. If this ain't the brag or nothing, look, too say hold up, man. Too many big faces. <laughs> man, they paying you something else. Already. Already. They, pay, they, they paying you something else, man. Hold up, man. Every time you go in your pocket, you pull out a wad of money. I say, nah. I say, I say, first off, why you looking in my pocket like that? Because yeah. my money don't even come out my pocket. Yes, I put, I bring my pocket out halfway. And I look down and, 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 and find out. I say, so you being nosy because I ain't bringing nothing out. <laughs> yes, but sir. she was like, so did she was like, matter of fact, Oh, um, she was like, um, she was like, oh, uh, uh-uh, what, what, what you doing? You, they paying you something else. I'm like, nah. But anyway, fast forward, the next day, I'm in my boss office. My boss don't believe in God. Mm. Huh? He brought me in the office. He said, man, Spencer, Spencer, I need you to see you in my office. Now everybody cool out there, man. They selling my albums in in in, in the store. In, in this the this the petrol corporate. In the truck, right? General the truck managers, right, man. Right, right. General managers. They truck stop. They selling my CDs in here. I got posters all over the wall. You know what I'm saying? The uh, my boss man, he say, hey. He said, man, look, man, I've been wanting to ask you this for a little minute, man, and and and, and I've been afraid to ask you because I know who you is. I know what you do. My son, you're a hero to my son. My son love you to death. He say, man, but I got to ask. I say, what's going on, bro? He say, man, is you selling dope on this premises? <laughs> I say, selling dope on these premises. <laughs> I say, man, I say, bro, you know who I am. <laughs> I'm an old Christian rapper out here, bro. I say, bro, I'm out here feeding people, man. Every day, what I look like selling drugs, bro? I say, nah, bro. I say, them streets been there. He say, nah, bro. He say, ain't no way you gonna have the money you got and be able to serve the people you serve on a consistent basis. I, he said, I know what I pay you, man. Mm. I looked up, I say, man, I looked up and I pawned. I said, that's God, man. That's Jesus. The reason why life was like that and the reason why, I ain't never been the richest man alive, but I've always been able to use my hands and my feet yes, to get sir. where I need to be. Yes, sir. I pay my tithes and my offering regardless. I don't care how much money in my pocket. And people don't believe in that. A lot of people don't believe in that. That's Old Testament. That's this, that's that, that's right, that now, homie. Right, that went right. all the way. That went all the way to the end, all the way to Revelations, homie. Yes, sir. Yes, Let me sir. tell you something. Keep being greedy with what's already God's, and you gonna and, and, and your outreach going to stay in the same place. Your business going to stay in the same place. Your career going to stay in the same place. Everything going to stay at the same place. You ain't going to never get, you're going to stay at that same place because you don't give to God. Mm. I gave to God every Sunday, man. Every Sunday, I pay my tithes. My boss looking at me thinking I'm selling crack on the premises, <laughs> yeah. I'm feeding, look. Right, go ahead. Tell you how God works. Yes, sir. Tell you how God works. Man, I ran, I ran into a, 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 a Walmart truck. Walmart truck. He say, everything that Walmart rejects, I'm going to give it to you. Man, I'm loading my truck up every day, man. Mm. You hear me? I ain't have to, I ain't have to, I ain't have to go sign no, no 501 C's and go, go sign and do this and do that. Man, the truck ran into me. Mm. He say, man, he say, I got either that or I got to throw it away because they ain't, they ain't going to take it and I can't take it back with me. Mm. Man, man, open that gate. Open that gate, man. Hey, come on over here. Put you hear me? Load my truck up, man. Yes, sir. And so, already. that's how my outreach was. I moved to Houston. Because I got tired of the violence in Louisiana. It was an attempt on my life. Mm -hmm. It was an attempt on my life, but that ain't why I left. I left for my kids because I didn't leave to like months after the attempt on my life happened. But and I was just like, man, look, Louisiana, it was kids dying every day, every month, every year. Somebody was dead. I just lost both my homies that just closest people that was to me 
anybody. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm like, man, my kids ain't finna die here, man. They ain't finna die here. They already tried to take me out. Mm-hmm. God kept me. They God kept me. I say, man, I'm not finna let my kids. The school system is ridiculous. Everything. So I wanted to get them to something better. When I got here, man, I had a prayer. Uh, a year here, I was praying to God, man. And I say, God, listen, I need you to give me something bigger. I say, look, man, everybody got clothing lines. Everybody got clothing lines. Everybody got this, they got that, man. We had People just, just copying this and copying that and copy that, man, and everybody else. I say, everybody doing that. I say, so that's not really going to give me the, 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 the explosion I want for the gospel. Yeah. I said, I say, God, give me something that when they see it, they know it wasn't nobody but you. I don't even want them to think I did anything. Mm. I want it to be that spectacular. I wanted to know that. I know where he come from. It ain't no way he did that. Gotta be a God. That's how I wanted the impact to be. So mm-hmm. when I tell the testimony to, to the loss, when I tell a testimony to a kid who's trying to figure out how you going to make it out of this situation, when I'm talking to the youth, I got to give them that story. This is what happened. This is what happened. I went to sleep and I had a dream. I woke up. It was Jesus. It was, it was, it was, it was make the first Christian, the first Jesus sneaker. Mm. Make the first Jesus sneaker. I say the Jesus sneaker. I'm talking to God. I'm like, God, they're going to run me out the church with that, man. I say, man, I can't put Jesus. I can't put you on no sneaker. Oh, no shoes. I say, man, these folks going to kill me. I say, it ain't never been done before. Right. It ain't never been done before. Man, they're going to kill me. Man, they're going to persecute me for this. And so I'm like, God, I want to design it, man. I'm designing. I'm designing. I'm just designing. Design and design and man. And I and I was talking to God, what should I name it? Like I said, I'm right. name it Jesus Sneaker. He's like, nah, I want you to go original. This is what my this is what the Holy Spirit telling me. Go original. I want you to go all the way back. And so I just went to study and I'm studying and I study Hebrew. I study, I study Greek. I study these things. So I'm in these things and I'm and I'm, I'm studying, man. I'm mean, all the way back to the beginning of time when the first name. Yahushua. Mm. And that's what, and you know, it's Yahshua, how we would pronounce it. Right, right. We we pronounce it, we pronounce it Yahshua. You know, we from America. We got to put the S-H on that thing. Right, you know? right, right, right. But, but the real, the original name is Yahushua. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it wasn't no letter J's and all that type of stuff. Everything started with a Yah, Yah. Mm-hmm. So it was Yah, Yahweh, which means Yahweh, God. In, in English terms, English Latin terms, Jesus. But it was the original. After Y, after they broke Y H W H down, right. it was Yahweh. Mm-hmm. You know, which transcended Yahweh, you know, and all of those things. So that's where the name comes. It's the original Hebrew context. And so I, I came up with the name. And then I'm like, man, y'all one, y'all two, y'all three, mm-hmm. y'all four, y'all seven. I say they got the Jordan War, they got J2, they got J3, they oh, got J. I say, man, I'm, gonna, I'm going to war with Jordan, man. I say, man, <laughs> Jesus, I want Jesus' name to be the biggest name when it come to these yes, sneakers. Sir. Yes, sir. And that's why, and that's why I be designed. Let me tell you something. God gave me that vision, he gave me that dream. I went to somebody real important when it was going on, man, and I and and and, and and what 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 launched my grind and it launched my hustle, man. Something was told to me that was so hateful, um, far as that business, far as that dream, and and, right. and launching that dream, man. And it it, it man, look. To by two thousand, this is two thousand sixteen when I had the dream. I didn't launch until two thousand seventeen. Mm-hmm. By two thousand seventeen, I had six hundred and ninety five designs. Mm. Before I even before I even put y'all kicks out there. That's why everything people see now, man, that stuff been in my folder for years. I'm just launching and launching and designing and designing. Now I got manufacturers. I got multiple manufacturers. 
So now I can just design, design, design. Bye, I ain't got to do no printing. I ain't got to do none of that. I just go design and send it in. They can order it. You know what I'm saying? Like when I drop the y'all threes, the y'all twos, and the y'all ones, I like to get them on demand right in front of me. So that's why I always do the pre-order. That way they get them first. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, like like y'all kicks, man. Listen, every year we do one major outreach. And we get together with different outreaches, or uh, minister, or Christian rapper, whoever want to get with us, and we get out there, man, and we donate sneakers, clothing, food, everything. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we've been doing that since we launched the 2000 um on 17 when it first dropped, and we didn't hit almost six, seven countries. Mm. Why I had to say what I said at first to say what I'm saying now. I grew up with no shoes. I got a pair of kicks every two, three years in elementary. I got clowned and, and bullied for not having what everybody else had. Mm -hmm. My friends was wearing Jordans. I had on pro wings and 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 and, <laughs> and oh man, what was them shoes from Walmart, man? I can't Franklin's, man. Oh, we. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing. Yeah. The kid that couldn't afford to. Got your own shit. You got to, now you understand the prayer? Yes, sir. I prayed for that. <clears throat> I said, give me something that they won't know. They know, man, this dude grew up. He could, how? The dude that couldn't afford shoes on his own shoe company. Mm -hmm. A company that's for God. And it's serving other countries. Man, that ain't nothing but Jesus. Man, I you know you, what I'm saying? And so that's that's what it's about. I tell you, bro. I, I when, when I tell you, man, I, I tell people all the time, probably at, at least once a show. I tell everybody, I say I don't, I don't say things and do things because it sound good to say for a yeah. show. Hopefully, we can, you know, all day, it, it sound good. I love hearing that because I tell people all the time, the the world has its system and way of doing things. The kingdom right. of God got its way of doing things. And <clears throat> I but what I butt head with people is when they say, well, you know, oh, oh, they talking about they Christian and loving the Lord and you know, can't have no shoe company, can't have no clothing company. I, I I'm, I'm gonna right. say this. I, I remember sitting at a church <clears throat> and I got called in and sit on a panel. They told me I couldn't and, rap. Right, right, know. right, right. Hey, hey, been there. They told me I couldn't do it neither. And I'm like, man, we got two studios up here. One called Tabernacle Studio and the company Skyway Media. Kingdom, kingdom business. And so I told the cat, I said, it was a cat in the audience. He said he bought a Ford Expedition. I'll never forget it. And he asked me, he said, he said, Ron Daniel, let me ask you. He said, I, I saw two of them pulled up in out there. So let me, let me ask you. He said, I got a Ford Expedition. He said, I want to put some, uh, he said, he said, I'm trying to live safe. I'm trying to live right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to church and I'm, I'm from the streets. So he gave me the whole spiel in order. He said, he said, I want to put some rims on my uh, Ford Expedition. He said, what, what, what should I do? I told him, I said, uh, so I, I looked at him. I said, uh, I said, it's a, it's a spot here named Sammy's. They sell rims, lifts, everything. Everything you want on a car. You want a lift, you want a drop kit, you want 32 inch rims. What, what car you want? You want them poking out? They got them. <clears throat> so I told him, I said, look here, man, take your truck around there to Sammy's. Ask him, can he put the big, what, what's, what's the biggest rim he can put on your car? 28, 30, 32. So he looked at me. He said, huh? He looked at me like, why would I say that? I said, man, let me tell you something. I said, man, we care about those things. I said, God know we like rims and car. Hey, I like oh, the. I, I tell cats all the time. I said, joke. I like the Bugatti. My goal is to get a Bugatti. I said, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get the Bugatti ride through the hood, go to the chicken spot, give me some chicken, and sitting in the Bugatti. I told him, I said, man, go around that corner and get the biggest rims you can put on your truck. Make sure your suspension good. You know, don't just throw rims on there. Make sure the suspension right. So he started, everybody started laughing. So the dude beside me said, man, why would you tell dude that? I said, man, look here. Don't make this walk hard. Trying to put all these criteria and all this stuff. I'm listening to your story. I'm like, man, this is what it's about. Christian clothing line 
and they global. It's, it's, it's impacting people globally. So, yeah, we got the Jordans. Yeah, we got Nike. Yeah, we got Adidas. Yeah, yeah we got the Prada's right. and the Gucci's and all these other right. names. Now we got now we got your company out there. Support. And, bro, I'm going to buy I'm gonna buy a pair, of size 13. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them. Right. When I, and when I get them, you're going to know I got them. Bro, let me ask you this, bro. Bro, we didn't hit that. I think we didn't hit an hour and a half. This is getting good. We got Look at my. We got to get you back on, man. We yeah, got to yeah. get you back on yeah. sooner than later, bro. And I'm, I'm glad this podcast happened today. I know we tried before, right, right. and, you know, things happened, but I'm glad we got it in. Bro, yeah. what's, what's next for you, bro, in 2021, man? And how can everybody reach you on social media? Man, look. What's next for me, man? Same old grind, man. I'm trying to shoot some more videos, man. Mm. Get some more music. Get some more substance out there. Right. Um, my, my my new single, Pain, is out right now, man, and it's doing well. It's doing excellent. You know what I'm saying? All type of blogs, radios, and everything bumping it mainstream. Yes, so, sir. um, man, I'm just you know ready to serve. Album just came out. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got it, go get it. Yes, sir. Um, gonna shoot the next single to that. Oh, I've been a few singers after that. Still writing a few songs that I want to redo, you know, and, and, and work on. But beside that, man, I'm, I'm still writing, man. Still in the studio. Still doing features. Still serving. Still ministering. Still being a father. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, still being best friend and friend and, and brother. That's my life, you know what I'm saying? Showing love and, and, and sticking to the unit. And that, and that's what I'm about all day, every day, man. Just consistent and can keep on grinding. You feel me? And any way I can, that's positive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you go, y'all boys serve on IG. Y'all boys serve on Facebook. Um, YouTube, serve TV. That serve with a U, not with an E. Y'allkickstore.com. That's the website. Y'all sure kicks at gmail.com. Get at me. Yes, sir. Bro, let, let me ask you, let me ask you one more quick thing before you get off. I see you got the studio behind you. What's your what's your go what's your go-to DAW back there, man, on, on, on the computer? Huh? What, what what's your go-to dial you use to record back there in the studio? Oh, man, I got look, I got um, I got um studio. Studio artist, right. professional. Right. Um, I started using it about 14 years ago. Um, before it became popular, like everybody getting it now. But, right. but, like I say, I'm a fan of music. And RL, RL was doing an interview. Right. On a, on a few albums that he did with Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. And all the albums mm -hmm. that he he recorded Michael Jackson was on Studio One. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, I'm finna check it out. And then it's easy. Like like he right. said, it was easy, easy push and go. You know what I'm saying? Got mix and master programs. He got all type of stuff in it. So I rock with Studio One Professional. And um, that's my go through because uh, I heard RL talking about recording <laughs> Michael Jackson and that thing. I was like, oh, man, man, anything Michael Jackson dropped was black. I'm going to work on this Studio One, man. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, bro, I'm going to tell you, man, hey, we, we reached the Hey, I got that Studio One in here, too, man. Hey, yeah. whenever I'm at H-Town, bro, I, I got we, we, we got a link up, man. I'm, I'm one of those cats, man. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to your heart. And I'm, I'm on them cats. Soon as this COVID die down, we really get to move around like we like we've been moving around. You know, I tell you, yeah. somebody, somebody asked me about the COVID. Um, pop out, pop out. Uh, matter of fact, a couple weeks ago I was in Dallas. I took the family out there before school started. Me and my girls, my wife, and my uh, two yeah. mother, both of my girls, just get them out the house for a minute before school started. And we took it to the water park, did some shopping, came home, and. Um, uh, somebody was asking about the COVID. I said, man, I said, I just look at it like this. I said, I think God doing his his handy work in the earth. I said, if you look at history, in 1920, 100 years ago, same thing happened. They was wearing masks and sitting around trying to figure out what's going on. They they blamed it on something. I said, so God doing right. his thing. I said, we just ready. You know, when, when God says time to move around, we're going to move around at any time. I'm in h town, bro. I'm going to hook you. I'm, hey, I'm going to link up with you, bro. I'm gonna link up with you, man. I tell everybody to come on the show. Anytime I'm I'm in whoever no. city, man. I'm not one of these cats. I put many times, hey man, I'm in town, man. Where well, yeah, come on. I'm swinging yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there. Just yes, let sir. me know what's in, you know what I'm saying? You step in the town, I'm in your city. It don't matter. You know, yes, we sir. in the building. 
Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. And on, on that note, we're going to end the show on that note. That was Swerve. Your boy Swerve, y'all. And uh, we're going to get off this thing for the night. Hey, that was another good show, man. That was another good show. And uh, I'm telling y'all, man, I, I love... I love every podcast we've done over the course of 55 shows. They all been different. They all... They all hit different. You know, like everybody said, oh, that hit different. They all hit different. And, you know, what what I what I... What I love about tonight's episode, if, if you've been watching the podcast since we've been going since day one, you know at the end I kind of do a summary. So what I love about this 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 podcast, man, episode 55, I love listening to the heart of serve, man, because one thing he said, I think that stuck out through the whole show, he said, follow God. Chase God, don't chase the gift. We got the gift, but chase God, don't chase the gift. And 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 that hit me, cause I'm like, it, it kind of put a summary on for me why we doing the things that we do for so long. You know, I, I tell people all the time, I said, you know, we push for kingdom business and kingdom excellence, you know, because we represent the king. You know, everybody in the world represent who they're going to represent, but we're going to represent the Lord, and we're going to do it in excellence. And guess what? We get to get paid for it, too. You know, that's why people don't understand. You know, I said, listen, I, I operate a marketing company through the day. We get paid pretty good, you know, but it's a kingdom business. You know, now we're doing this media space, and, and people are donating to the show financially or physically, uh, with, with you know they may have some computers or whatever they have they say hey I was thinking about you you can have this or whatever it is and we use it to grow this platform so what I got out of tonight's show is chase God don't chase the gift don't chase the bag that stuff gonna come the money the gift gonna make room for you but chase God listen that was good, man. Episode 55. Uh, we almost done with season one, man. We got um, season two starting October, mid-October. <clears throat> we're going we gonna to get through September. We got, uh, man, we got, we in September now. I want to say we got maybe seven more shows in September. Then we're going to start season two in October. We're going to take a small uh, one-week break. And then we're gonna start season two. We're just gonna do some get some things together so we can start season two. But listen, if you are artist, if you wanna come on the show, you see some information scrolling at the bottom. Just uh just email us your information. We don't make it hard to come on this show. We don't make it hard to come on this podcast, man. If you're an artist, if you're a DJ, a promoter, or an influencer of the Christian hip hop gospel rap space, man, email us your information. You can email us. Uh, you can send it through Instagram. You can direct message us here on Facebook, Twitter, and just let us know what you're doing. And then once we check out what you're doing, if it fit the format, man, we're going to put you in the game. It's that simple. We don't make it hard. It's that simple. And then the second thing is <clears throat> um, donate to the show. For, for everybody that's looking, man, donate financially to the show because it takes money to grow things. It's just like when we pour water on a plant. If you pour water on a plant, it grow. If you don't, it die. Same thing here. Donate <laughs> to the show. And when you donate financially, it's like pouring water on this, on what we're building so we can grow and reach areas globally. We're looking to expand globally, not just citywide <clears throat> or I'm in the South region wide, regional wide, or 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 you know, nationwide. We're trying to extend globally, but it takes donation. <clears throat> we can pray all day long, we can plan all day long, we can execute the plan, but it also takes money to grow. So donate to the show. Uh you can donate through Cash App, Vimo, and PayPal. Soon we'll have Square and Zeal coming soon. And the last thing uh, like, share, and comment. Uh, what we doing, man? It help us to grow. Whenever you share, uh, like this podcast on your page, 
uh, we don't care if you screenshot it. Screenshot it and let them know, hey, this dude right here that started a podcast and, and, and he talking about gospel rap and everything. Share with your pastor. Share with your, your, your youth leaders in your city. Share with other artists and DJs and promoters. Uh, share it on your page, your social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, I don't know, Periscope, TikTok. Uh, all of them. Uh, all of them out there. Y'all know, y'all know apps come out every day, man. So sh- share them on your pages, man. It'll help us to grow this platform <clears throat> so we can continue, so we, we can get to... Tonight we just did, we just finished episode 55, and we can get to episode 255, and then episode 555, and then episode 1000. And Lord willing, when we make it to episode 1000, we're going to do a big old parade, a big old... I don't know. We're gonna do a big celebration. Uh, we might we might get a thousand balloons and just have them thing. You know how they let them balloons fly in there. They can say, "Man, a thousand balloons shot in the air." They must they must have reached episode one thousand. So I'm just thinking out loud. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but we are trying to get to episode one thousand. And y'all that's looking at this podcast, y'all can help us uh, get there, man. So I'm not gonna hold y'all up, man. Every week. We come back on every Wednesday and every Thursday at uh, 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, we're going to get off this thing, man. Like always, I give y'all that double chunk salute. Boom, boom. And then we're going to get off this thing. We're going to see y'all tomorrow night. Mm-hmm.